this is our last lesson together uh, we finished like this tutorial together uh, it was over like 13 hours of video uh, while i during which i i tried to bring you in this journey with me and i will try to i i try to uh, show you what what i what i think it's it's important in a, in a in a generalist workflow we started from a cad data as you as you remember like it was a library cad data and we uh, try to convert and analyze how different software like showcase moment of respiration fusion 360 all the software can interact in a different way with our cad model and what are the pros and cons of all of them we also saw 3ds max for the conversion so we very very analyze deeply how we can treat this stuff so after we converted it we went inside our main dcc there our in our case is maya and we went through uh, the process of uh, rescaling the object in the proper way verify that everything was done uh, in, a, in, a, in an appropriate way to start with the right foot our project you know uh, and I showed you how to uh, rename your scene organize your scene in the proper way uh, everything that need to be done to prepare your project and to make your life easier down the road uh, so rename everything group everything in the proper way uh, prepare all your layers and make your life uh, try to try to make your project um, very well organized so you can uh, approach the step after in a very smart way we saw how to remodel our object or objects in very different ways we we try to see uh, some auto retopo uh, tools like quadri measure or the auto retopo tools inside maya uh, we we watch like uh, how to use like the retopo inside zbrush and then we went back to maya to to compare with the full uh, manual retopo features using the modeling toolkit and or we 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 had a look at uh topogun how we can use topogun what the advantage of, of a software like topogun uh, an exterior software compared to our main dcc was the pros and cons again I showed you how to use like uh, uh, tools that are mainly for animation and for rigging like the skin wrap to remodel your stuff because uh, though in my opinion it's important to see how you can use in the best way possible all the tools available in your software even if they are not meant to be used only for modeling like the blend shape for instance was another way to show you well I showed you how to remodel some or model some what can be seen like a complex object like a, a bolts in this case in a very easy way and how to approach your modeling uh looking at things in a, in a little bit different way from usual not like uh, you can find everywhere else i showed you also how to use marvelous designer not specifically for design kind of purpose for fashion kind of purpose but in our case to model uh our bike seat and I showed you obviously UVs. I mean, like when you when it comes to modeling high quality stuff and create like projects that need to be done in a proper way, UVs are the very important step. And I showed you how to do like UVs in Maya and in UV layout in full comparison, so you can see which one are the best things of each software to be used for your pro project. Also, even if we didn't do like the, the UVs for the, our CAD data. We managed to do it like a brief uh, UVs pass also for that. And as you can see, the final model is very well developed and very well done. I showed you also very important theoretical stuff like um, PBR workflow, how to create your turntable scene and what is important to, to have a look in your turntable scene, how to use like generic library HDRI uh, and how to... Um, uh, grade them in the proper way and use them in the proper way inside maya i i also like um at the look at the gamma correction linear workflow discussion we had a look at that and also the sscg we had a look at um substance painter you know the introduction of substance painter what's the reality of it how to use smart mask how to use decal and stuff like that to uh, use it in the best way possible and to texture your your asset in the um in a in a very uh, cool way without too much of effort and trying to be as most procedural 
uh, as possible so we can use like those things later on and readjust them later on I also showed you all the procedural approach of the um, uh, the shading inside Maya using curvature occlusion three plan projection name it we saw it so it was like a very uh, in-depth shading class we did also our own HDR for the shooting uh, I use specifically like a 360 cameras uh, but you can use whatever camera 360 camera you want but mainly I showed you how to treat that HDR that we shoot on set and how to clean it up inside Nuke and how to create uh, your HDR and rebalance it and grade it in a proper way to use it on your project uh, in the best way possible our result was a 16k because the camera was really good I showed you also how to use like a photogrammetry software in combination with a couple of images that I, I, I shot on my iPhone to create like a LiDAR scan of your set and this was very easy process I, I shoot like something like 50 images with my phone and I I elaborate them using 3D Zephyr that is a photogrammetry app and in this way I was able to create my own uh, LiDAR scan and I show you how to do it this can be very useful in the lighting process uh, later on uh, we went to lighting the lighting stage and I showed you how to use all the data that we created so far our own set of capture HDRI the model that we have put everything together and balance your light based on the H on the on the on set that capture and on the HDR and create all your passes and AOVs to go on later on in Nuke and have like all the material that you need to assemble your final composites and we saw together how to use in the best way possible uh, the node based system in Nuke to uh, create a very in a very easy way our final comp of our two cameras in one shot basically so we had like the entire like comp was done like that to facilitate your job so this is it guys this is the last lesson and the, our journey ends here I'd like to thank you very much to uh, give me the chance to show you all these tips and tricks all these techniques that I show you in the last 13 plus hours of videos I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to entertain you in this in this journey and I hope to see you again have a nice day Ciao, bye guys.